Hi, I am New Cleopatra. My boy name is Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer, and obviously a drag queen. So if you'd be interested in any of the things that I do offer, I do have a main channel on YouTube actually called Lamar Townsend Tarot. This is my main channel on YouTube, so you can definitely subscribe to me here. I do all things spirituality related, astrology related, and things like that. As you can see, I just went live 44 minutes ago on this channel. Um, if you would like a reading, go right to the store section of my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. This is my website, so once you've reached this page, you know you're on the right page. You can scroll down and read reviews from people who have purchased readings from me. Follow me down here on Instagram and Facebook, where I do post drag content as well. And if you would like a reading, just go right to the store section. I do birth chart readings, um, mediumship readings, past life readings. Uh, phone readings, email readings, uh, video recorded readings. I do classes where I teach you tarot, astrology, um, spiritual development. I do candles and so much more. So if you'd be interested in any of these things, then definitely check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. Thank you so much for your support. And I appreciate you all. So, here we are on episode 7. And I have to say that I'm shook. I'm getting shooker and shooker. Because we are getting closer and closer to the end of season three. And I'm like, I just can't believe it's, it feels like it went by so fast. So, we start episode seven off. Let's get right into it. We start episode seven off getting a recap of last week. Um, once again, last week, Mirce Fieselicious won the Maxi Challenge last week. And Irma Gerd sent Bombay home. Very shocking. All right. So, we start the episode out. Alright. Kind of getting a little bit of, once again, a recap of last week. Once again, here the girls are with their outfits from last week. So, this is them just ending the episode from last week. Irma has sent Bombay home. As you can see, Bombay is not there. So, it's just the remaining girls there. Couple notes. Um, Irma is very proud of herself for sending, sending Bombay home. And she should be, you know, because, you know, I personally saw Bombay being in the top four. So Irma, in my, you know, opinion, proved herself as being a formidable opponent um, when she sent Bombay home. Um, however, the interesting thing is, is that the girls end up cracking on Irma's lip sync skills. Now, if you watch last week's uh, review of episode six, I, you know, mentioned how Irma did slay the lip sync, but I, you know, I did mention how, like, you know, she slayed, you know, out of, out of sync and all, you know, like, you know, so, you know, even though she did slay Bombay in the lip sync, you know, and I do kind of like, I do like Irma's lip sync style, the girls were like, girl, you are not a lip sync assassin, so, you know, just, you know, keep it cute, stay in your little corner, yeah, you won that round, good for you. So I was like, ooh, Irma, you know, like, you know, because she was kind of asking the girls, well, how do you think I did? And the girls just kind of went on, went in on her and, and you know, they were kind of like, it was something. And I was like, dang, you know. So she does, she maybe does need to work on the lip sync skills, but, you know, she won fair and square. So it is what it is. Giselle congratulates Fierce on her win. And it's interesting. I love that because, you know, um, the week before that, Giselle was actually the winner of the maxi challenge for the uh, Snatch Game. Which is really big. So I was like, okay, a winner congratulating a winner. I love that. You know, very congenial. 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 Sorry, I've had a few shots. We had a few shots on the live stream on my second, on my main YouTube channel. So I'm a little shotted up right now. Um, anyways, so Giselle congratulates Fierce on her win. And Vivian is a little bitter about not having a win so far. Now, you guys know since episode one, I have been saying that Vivian um, was one of my favorites, but it seems like each episode, you know, like it's she's kind of gotten lower and lower on my list to the point where she's not one of my favorites anymore, to be honest. So I was like, ooh, you know, I, I do feel like she's talented, but I don't know, like there's something about the competition where I should feel like, I don't know if she's not been in her element fully or if she's been like too much in her head. But I feel like there's something about Vivian that I haven't quite seen yet that I really want to see. And, you know, we'll have to get into that a little bit later. But at the beginning of the episode, she's like upset and a little bit bitter about not having a win so far. You know, because all the other girls except for her and Irma have a win. Um, 
the girls are over fierce in her arrogance. All right, uh, as as usual, fierce. Since she won the maxi challenge, she thinks she you know she's queen of the you know queen of the damned or something like that, and everyone has to beckon to her call. Although I do wonder, is you know I feel like a little bit of it is played up for the camera, because um, I do watch Fear sometimes in the live streams, and then um, there was something where she was on Roscoe's uh, like maybe last week. She is how she is on camera, to be honest, but there's something about, like, I do feel like there's a little bit of playing up for the camera, you know? And on Drag Race, you know, sometimes the producers come in and, you know, say, hey, can you drum this up a little bit or can you, you know, act a little bit more lively? So, I don't know if they're pulling strings. Anyway, so the girls are over fierce and her arrogance anyway. Alright, so I have to say, though, that Brooklyn looks absolutely amazing in her pink. She looks pretty in pink. Very Molly ring Ringwald, you know, if she were blonde and a drag queen, probably, you know, and, you know, things of that nature. I love this look. Um, for some reason, it does make her look a little short. Is it just me? Um, when I know she's a tall queen, you know, uh, I, at least I think so. So, but other than that, I really love this look. I thought she looked beautiful. And this is the look she ended up judg judging the entire episode in. So, I love this. So... We're at a new day. Oh, wait, no, sorry. <laughs> Wrong picture. So we're at a new day, and here are the remaining girls. We have Kimmy Couture um, going from the left to right. We have Kimmy Couture, Jada Shada Hudson in the green uh, beanie. We have Mears Fisalicious, looks like wearing her glasses, child to read somebody, probably. We have Irma Gerd with a, like, like um gr almost a green or yellow colored hair um we have right next to her giselle lullaby facing her and then at the very end um we have vivian vanderpuss in her cowboy boots okay so um it's a new day and fierce ends up poking fun at irma and vivian for not having a win and vivian actually gets mad and she gets upset can't blame her but you know fuel to the fire fuel to the fire let it fuel you and your fire to get a win all right so i was like you know i don't know i just feel like if i were in a competition i would do a willow pill and i wouldn't like show too much emotion or show people what i was really thinking or like conceptualizing or things like that so i was like "Ooh, vivian don't let fierce get to you because fierce will get to you all right if you let her so anyways brad ends up coming out brad goreski comes out one of the hosts of canada's drag race um and brad explains the mini challenge so the mini challenge is that the girls have to get in, into actress actress quick drag, all right? Didn't know what that was, but it's interesting the girls' different takes on it. We'll see here in a second. Ciao. So they have to get into act, actress quick drag, and then they get um, familiar with their lines uh, for this made-up super, superhero film, Super Queens, all right? She's a super queen. Dun, 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 dun. She's a super queen. All right. And Brad will uh, be the director. All right. Of this whole superhero quick drag mini challenge situation. I was a little bit confused when Brad said he was going to be the director. I mean, I know sometimes in the American version, um, RuPaul and Michelle Visage will be directors too, or even like the guest judge. And they don't always have like a seemingly like director exper experience. Well, maybe at this point, RuPaul and Miss Michelle. But you know, like Nicki, Min not just saying Nicki Minaj like actually directed anything, but just saying she was in an episode. So it's like, I was like, I've never actually seen Brad direct. Now I didn't finish season two. So maybe he directed in that, but I was like, I've never actually seen him direct anything. So let's see how this turns out, you know, because I was like, this will be interesting just from Brad directing right off the bat. Anyway, so let's get into these girls in their quick drag event. All right. First up is Kimmy. First up is Kimmy. Why is Kimmy's picture not coming up? Hold on. Let me pull it up. Uh, this is why we do this live. I hope I didn't put Kimmy somewhere else. All right, here we have Kimmy. Um, and I thought Kimmy looked really good. I really like this outfit and with the hat, you know, I love an accessory. Um, I thought her body, her body looked great. I thought she looked really good. 
Um, I was just wondering what kind of what kind of actress is she giving? Is she auditioning? Like, cause I wouldn't audition in this kind of outfit unless I was willing to maybe be open to the casting couch, maybe or something like that. I'm not sure, but I was just kind of like, what kind of actress is this giving? Quick drag actress is is this giving? But I thought she was also really funny um, in her audition, so I really like Kimmy in this in this. Um, mini challenge to be honest with you i was just confused by the look i was like i like the look but the concept for the i don't know i just didn't get it all right i didn't get i didn't get it for like the 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 con the context all right all right so <laughs> after kimmy is irma and irma was giving bet davis impersonator like i didn't understand what this look was either you know um quick drag quick actress quick drag i was like D does she have the role already is this a table read like i was just a little bit confused by this look from irma but i did like the versatility though because i was so i've been so used to seeing irma and like you know certain colors you know like you know green and this to yellow and you know so it was nice to see her kind of like a little bit like homely maybe i guess but it was i was just confused once again by the concept i was like what's the context here so anyways i don't know She's not the only one I didn't get. I, I think maybe there were only maybe one or two that actually hit the mark where I was like, okay, I could see that. So that's Irma. Um, Vivian, all right, is next. This is another one where I was like, child, what's going on? Vivian was auditioning for Annie Remake in Space, all right? Like, I didn't understand this look either. Um, excuse me. The tequila shots are actually <laughs> vodka shots. Um... I, I mean, this is very Vivian, to be honest with you, but I just, I was just like, why are we dressed like Annie, but we're auditioning for a movie that's dealing with superheroes of seemingly in space, um, but has nothing to do with Annie. However, I did, I did like uh, Vivian. Um, there was a point where she had to make like a, um, oh, curr, like she had to do something, she did something with her curr. And I, I really liked that. I like I found that kind of funny. Um, I liked Vivian in this. I was just confused once again by the look, but as I was by many girls here, you know. Um, Jada was next, and I think she was one of the ones where I was like, I, I do kind of like this look actually. Like I, you know, I like, you know, um, maybe still not something I would wear to an audition, depending on what type of audition it was. But I thought she looked great. Um, the thing with Jada though was she couldn't read the script correctly. And she kept messing up her lines. Like, you know how scripts are written a certain way? So it'll say, like, you know, person A, you know, lines are, you know, oh, you look so lovely tonight. And person B is like, oh, thank you. You know, I, you know, I'm putting on a little bit of blush. You know, but Jada was, like, reading it as person A, you look lovely tonight. Person B, thank you, I put on a little bit of blush. Like, that was Jada. So, but it made good, like, TV. It made it funny. You know, Brad ended up cracking up. All right. Um... After Jada was Giselle, um, I do also want to bring up Fierce though. Fierce was also pretty funny too. Um, <laughs> she looked very much like Posh Spice to me. Um, but I could, you know, maybe see this being something I would wear to like, you know, an audition. I don't know. I thought in terms of like hitting the mark as, as as to like what I would wait to an audition though, I thought Giselle actually hit the mark. Like this is something I would expect an actress to wear to an audition. Not like dressed up as a character because I would imagine if you're dressed up as a character already, you're probably not going to get the role. So I would imagine out of all the girls, Giselle just in terms of looks alone, looks is a big part of auditioning, would probably have actually gotten the role. All right. Now, um, Giselle was Giselle, you know, nonetheless, um, there wasn't really much I put there for that, I, although I do think she hit the look on the mark, and I did appreciate that about Giselle, because I was like, this I could see, this I could see someone, we like, wearing to an actual audition, um, but anyways, the auditions ended up being really funny, a funny part of the episode, nonetheless, 
and Kimmy ended up winning the mini challenge. Alright, so I was like, okay, I, I agree with that because Kimmy was hilarious during, during this entire mini challenge. So, this was a hot mess, but you know, in the best way. So then we find out that the maxi challenge, Brad tells us, the maxi challenge for this week is a rusical. A rusical. Oh, yes. A singing challenge and an acting challenge. I feel like this is one I would really excel at, as you can see, because I like to sing and I like to act too, to be honest with you. So this would probably be one I would be really excited about. Um, the maxi challenge for this week is the Rusical, alright? Every, you know, um, season of Drag Race pretty much there's a Rusical where the girls have to show off their acting and singing skills. So this is that challenge for Canada's Drag Race Season 3, alright? And, um, the Rusical for this season is called Squirrel's Trip, the Rusical. Kind of a playoff of Girl's Trip, which, you know, I don't know, didn't age too well with Tiffany Haddish and everything, but anyway. Um... So once again, this is a music music challenge and acting challenge. So the girls have to show off their acting and vocal chops, okay? Um, first, they record their vocals. Then they get into choreography with Hollywood Jade, which, by the way, I loved his hair this episode. He looked fabulous. Or she, you know, they. Um, the girls get to assign their own roles, okay? <clears throat> So Giselle gets Jill, who is sisters with Irma. Irma is ja Jackie. All right, so Jill and Jackie. Fierce gets Ronnie, and Ronnie's delusional, which you know fits right with Fierce. No shade. Kimmy gets Amber, which is a dancing part, and Amber's a gold digger. You know, which kind of you know does fit Kimmy's personality too. Jada gets Grace, which is a singing part. Interesting. And then Vivian gets Kiki, which is choreography, you know. Um, and those are the roles, all right? A couple notes before we get into, you know, how the girls did with the Rusical. Vivian um, is worried about the choreography. You know, I guess Vivian is not necessarily a dancing queen or a rhythmic queen. And she's kind of worried about the choreography for some reason. So i'm kind of like i'm kind of worried about it too for you vivian you know that's how i was thinking of it when i was watching the episode i was like to be honest vivian i'm kind of worried about it for you too but i have faith in you to pull it together because once again you're a talented queen and i know you have it in you like this vivian is one of those queens where it's like you know she has a lot in her but i feel like i've only seen one side of her this entire like competition so you know i was like hoping she brought diet you know dynamic energy in this you know challenge which we'll get into here in a second all right we find out giselle can't sing all right um fierce tries to sabotage vivian by putting her in a dance role or kind of you know encouraging her to take the dance role of kiki because remember you know a couple episodes ago fierce thought vivian was trying to you know um sabotage her so of course fierce can't let let a grudge go ciao um, surprisingly, Jada sounded really good, actually. Um, and you know, I sing a little bit to myself. I do like to make songs and things of that nature, you know, so I, um, I like to sing too. I like to think I do sound good, you know, um, you know, um, I can sing a tune, all right? And I thought Jada sounded really good. I thought in terms of singers, I thought Jada and Irma were really good. Irma had, like, a musicality to her that was very, like... 1940s like you know I'm singing a song and it's I don't know and it's lovely and there's lots of inflections in my voice and this makes a noise like it's like that kind of like you know that's Irma kind of vibe I hope that like made sense um like that's what Irma was giving but it really fit Irma so I was like I like that like I I don't know I thought Jada and Irma were really good in terms of the singing all right of course, Kimmy's killing the choreography. We know Ki Kimmy can dance the, the house boots down, all right? Um, and Giselle and Irma are struggling with their choreography together. Now, apparently Giselle is a, is a trained dancer, but it's Irma that was kind of struggling with the actual choreography. Um, I mean, we saw her lip sync, so no shade, no tea. All right, let's get into the actual musical itself, okay? 
So, the rusical. Um, Jada messed up her words uh, a few times, but she sounded really good. Um, you know, they had to lip sync the whole thing, and there were a few times I noticed where Jada kind of like, and you know, lip syncing like it's, uh, I, I don't know, like you know, for me, like I'm still trying to find myself in terms of who I am as a queen. I know that, you know, I'm really good at makeup. I know that I'm good at acting and singing. I do know how to sew. Um, and I like to make music. I like to be on camera, you know. Um, I feel like I would make a good host. In terms of lip syncing, and I was just talking to my mom about this the other day. Like, I was telling her, like, I feel like I could lip sync for my life if I had to. But, like, me being a lip syncing queen, that's like... That's my main thing, my main gig. I was like, I don't know. But there's a lot of times where people don't know, don't discover their talents until they, like, are in the moment. And then you realize, I didn't know I had that in me, you know, um, kind of thing. So, I don't know. I say all that to say, like, um, why did I say all that? Um, oh, lip syncing. Lip syncing, like, is an art. I've, I've noticed. Um, lip syncing, especially in terms of something like this, like a rusical, it's not just memorizing your words, it's the inflections. It's like knowing how to animate, you know, in each moment and ooh, ah, ooh, 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 ah, ah, kind of thing, you know, like, um, and but it's all everything coming together properly you know like at the right timing and you know things like that and i don't know jada just kind of messed up her words a little bit you know and i noticed she like that happens every now and then with jada but she has a way of kind of pulling it together it i don't know it like i thought she sounded great but um it was just a little bit noticeable all right Fierce was good, um, and surprisingly had musicality, alright, um, she had a whole section where she kind of, kind of got to riff and kind of do her own thing, I was like, okay, uh, Fierce, Vivian Slade, okay, dancing and all, alright, Vivian Slade, dancing, singing, I loved her part, actually out of all the girls, her part was the part that I, like, re rewinded, like, the most. I rewinded Vivian's part about a good two or three times. Maybe the only other one I rewinded was Jada. I really like Jada's part too. Oh, and I like Kimmy's, but Vivian slayed. Vivian was my favorite, all right? And I was actually kind of surprised a little bit because she was so nervous. She was like so nervous about um, her part, you know, but that's how Drag Race does it. They make you worry that, you know, something's going to happen and it turns out to be the exact opposite situation. I thought Kimmy was funny. Um, Kimmy hit all her marks. And of course her dancing slayed. To be honest with you. Irma was good. But I hated her breastplate. Like showing. Like you know how some of the girls. Sometimes wear breastplate. I don't have to. You know because I have natural. Well you can't see them. But I have natural. You know a little something to work with. Um, so um, you know how sometimes the girls do wear breastplates though. And you can like see where like the breastplate ends and where it starts if they don't wear a necklace and she wasn't wearing a necklace so i hated that you know um but i thought she was good once again i liked her voice um and giselle was fine you know um nothing extraordinary with giselle you know i thought overall the rusical was really nice it was really fun very lighthearted, and once again i i love that they kind of let Jada take the lead because Jada has a wonderful voice from what I could hear. Um, although there was like some, it definitely felt like there was auto-tune or something like that. Um, but I still liked it and it's something once again that I, like I did end up listening to again, you know, throughout the next days after. So I really liked it, you know. Um, it's definitely, you know, I thought it was a good lip sync. Definitely not one of the worst. Maybe not necessarily one of the absolute best or anything like that, but I liked it, all right? Now, let's get into the runway, all right, for the girls. For the girls, honey. Um, so, the runway category is dystopian drag, all right? And first up, we have Jada Shada Hudson. Dystopian drag. Um, Jada's look felt very costumey, to be honest with you. 
Um, I like the street sign she had as like a shield. I thought that was like very dystopian. Um, because dystopian is like, you know, kind of like a new world. Like, you know, um, let's look up the definition of dystopian. Let's see, actually. The definition says relating to or denoting an imagined state or society where there is great suffering or injustice. It says a person who imagines or foresees a state of society where there is great suffering or injustice. Yeah, like basically like a new world, but a world that it's like every man for themselves is how I would interpret it. Um, maybe kind of like the purge. Maybe maybe there's something with that. Anyways, yeah, I kind of felt like Jada's uh, costume. Oh my god. Jada's outfit was a little bit costumey, but I did like the street sign as like a shield. I thought that was very creative. I like that in terms of the concept. All right, after Jada was Miss Fierce Delicious, and I love this. This was my favorite, all right, or one of my favorites, I think. At the very, I think this might have been my favorite, honestly. Um, she slayed. She was giving fish. Um, I think there was, like, a C-net still kind of, like, attached to her as well. Um, and it's like fish come to life, you know. I, I love this look. This was my favorite look in terms of this runway category. I thought Miss Fierce Delicious slayed. You know, I give credit where credit's due. I love this look, Miss Fierce Delicious. All right? If you end up watching this video. You might. I don't know. All right. So, um, after Fierce is Vivian. This is probably my second favorite, to be honest with you. I liked it, but something kind of felt a little bit off to me, which is why I chose Fierce as my favorite. But I love this concept. I think it was maybe the fit. Like, it's the hips that looks a little weird to me. But maybe once again that's a part of the concept for it but i like this a lot um but something just felt a little bit off to me which made me kind of just i was like i like it but i can't put my finger on what i don't like about it i don't know that's kind of how i felt about it but i like this from vivian this was definitely vivian's episode um after vivian was kimmy couture miss kimmy couture oh my god i keep forgetting kimmy for some reason they won't let Kimmy be great. Alright, let me let me see if I can get up her her final look. Here we go. Alright. So here's Kimmy's final look. Um I wrote no, not a fan. I feel like this is like what we've seen from her pretty much every week, to be honest with you so far. Um I want something different, you know, I'm tired of the silhouette, it's giving very Georges, you know, and I'm just kind of over it at this point. It's giving like a mix of Georges and Bosco from America's Drag Race Season 14, you know, and it's just kind of like, I, I don't know, I want something different, especially now that we're reaching the finale, you know, like, I don't know if you're gonna, you'll definitely be the top four probably, Kimmy, but I don't know if you're gonna win at this point with these, like, continuous... You know, I don't know. You could say the lip sync and win, though. I don't know. But, like, I'm just over. I wasn't a fan of this. I, you know, I, w I was not a fan of this look from Kimmy. Not bad, but just, like, I've seen this before from her, you know? After Kimmy was Irma Gerd. And Irma, I felt like, had too much going on. She had this, like, like um, breathe mask. She had all these wires. And I just, I just didn't understand what was going on, to be honest. I think she said something about like she was like some sort of air filter or like there was some sort of air filtration concept going on but I was just like I don't get it it's too much going on not a fan this was not one of my favorites to be honest all right after Irma was Giselle Lullaby um kind of similar to Kimmy I felt like I've seen this before from Giselle Lullaby same color same silhouette like you know I'm, I don't, I don't know. It, it just didn't feel imaginative to me. Um, and I I don't know. I, I felt like this could have been taken further a la maybe like a Vivian Vanderpuss in this, in this category or even Miss Fisalicious. You know, or even Jada, you know, with the, with the shield. Like, you know, I don't know. This just kind of felt a little bit boring to me. Very one note. Wasn't a fan of this from Giselle. Um, so it turns out that, um, Vivian ends up winning the Maxi Challenge, the Rusical. So yay for Vivian's first win, and uh, the Rusical of all wins. 
I thought that was really. I was like, wow, you know. Um, the only other person I could have seen. I don't know. There were actually a few people. Kimmy was good. I thought Jada was good, minus messing up the you know the words. Um, I thought everyone really did good on the Rusical, so I, you know, I thought, but Vivian was my favorite, so I do think she deserved this win in terms of winning the Maxi Challenge. So I was like, yay, Vivian, finally she gets a win, finally she can maybe relax a little bit, alright, you know, just because you got a win doesn't mean you can relax, alright, you know, that's, that's how I'm thinking at least. Anyways, in the bottom, it ends up being Giselle, Giselle Lullaby. And Irma Gerd, the two sisters, the lame sisters, you know, from Cinderella. Why would a fellow want a girl like her, a girl who's really lovely? Why can a fellow ever once prefer a girl who's nearly me? She's a nasty little bubble with a very sort of charm. I don't know the words. I could break off her little arm. Oh, oh, why can't a fellow want a girl like her? A girl who's really lovely. I don't know why I just started singing that song. Anyways, oh, because they're sisters. Okay, I had too much vodka, I'm sorry. What's the matter with the man? What's the matter with the man? What's the matter with the man? Alright, I'm done. Okay. So it ends up Giselle and Irma in the bottom, unfortunately. Um, the lip sync was okay. I couldn't take my eyes off Giselle the whole time. Um, but Irma did keep up with Giselle, alright? Irma is a good lip, lip syncer, don't get it twisted. She definitely gives the Utica tease where it's like you underestimate U Utica in the lip sync, but Utica turns it. So, you know, Irma keeps up. However, it ends up being that Irma goes home, unfortunately. Irma sh sashays away. And uh, Giselle gets to stay. Alright? You know, first of all, me and Irma have the same eyeshadow, it seems like, in this, uh, this picture she has. It was really sad to see Irma go. I was really starting to like Irma a lot. Because it seemed like the more she, the further she went in the competition, the more that came out of her. And I really like that. Like, I like that, you know, you get to see more and more from the girls. I love her sense of humor and the Snatch Game. And I'm just going to miss Irma. So, Irma was sent home. And that's the end of episode 7, you guys, of Canada's Drag Race Season 3. This was a really good episode. Um, I'm behind, so I'm actually going to watch episode 8 right after I do this. But yeah, I was really sad to see Irma go, but we're getting down to the wire. We're almost at the top four, all right? So we'll see who the top four is in the next episode. But yeah, you know, it's always sad, you know, once we get, like, deeper into the episodes and we just see girls go home and it's just like, dang, you know. But hopefully we see Irma in an all-stars. I would really love to see that. I think she's really talented. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in your own personal, maybe, reading, if you want a reading or class for me. Either way, I will see you soon. Love and light. God bless. And thank you for listening and watching.